All right, now this is the all new redesigned quick panel on One UI 6.0 based on Android 14 on the Galaxy phones, which looks much better and streamlined pretty well. However, if you look at this main page on the quick panel, we have got just 4 by 3 grid on which we can set these toggles. And we don't have a way to customize this by default on One UI 6.0. Now, if you want to increase the grid size here and accommodate more toggles here on one page, or probably just have one or two pages with all the toggles you need in an increased grid layout, then that is possible through a good lock module called quick star and this particular module has got a brand new update which reactivates this app on one ui 6.0 and adds a couple of more features here let's go ahead and take a look at that as you can see the all new version is 7.0.03.20 and it says support for one ui 6.0 supports changing quick settings button grid inside the application now this was active on one ui 5 but on 6 it wasn't active and with this update now we can change the grid size inside the application it is added gts support of apply color palette to notification icons available for one ui 5.1.1 or higher added japanese support and here is one important point you should note it says show notifications by last update and quick settings instant access on off settings are provided as device functions from one ui 6 and removed from the application. Now what this means is there are two specific features which were available only on this good lock module has been moved to the latest version of one UI the one UI 6.0 and it has been removed from the application. Now just to give you a perspective of this what Samsung does is through the good lock modules they experiment new features and this is one of the reasons why good lock is not available in all the countries like how we get beta update in limited countries we have good lock available in a handful of countries just to experiment these new features and some of these experimental features features will be moved to the phone as device functions on One UI. Not all the features will become device functions. Some of them do. Like in this case, Samsung has moved two features, show notifications by last update and quick settings instant access as system functions. Let me show you where this feature has been added. Let's tap on this edit icon on the quick panel. Now here you can see quick settings instant access. If I tap on this, we've got this option here. By enabling this, we can pull down from the top right corner of the screen to access the full quick settings panel without notifications. Now, this was earlier available on this particular module only on good lock, and now it is moved to the system function itself. Let me show you the other one. Let's go to settings and tap on notification settings. Now, here you can see we have got sort notifications. We can sort the notification by priority or by time. These two have been moved into One UI 6.0 as system function. Now, let's go back. Let me open quick star. We have a toggle on the top to enable this and we have got this option style your own quick panel. This has been integrated into theme park of course. Right now I'm not able to edit any quick panels because uh, the theme park has not been activated yet on One UI 6.0. It says theme park is not compatible yet. Update to the latest software to edit the quick panels through uh, the theme park engine. So we will have to wait for that. Now uh, you can see we have got visibility of indicator icons. I can tap on this to enable or disable the indicator icons on the status bar on the top. And then we have got this clock settings option. We can uh, make the clock to show date, show AM PM information. Uh, we can also enable this toggle to show seconds on the quick panel. As you can see, when I enable this and swipe down the notification panel, along with the hour and minute, we have got seconds display as well here. Then we have got options to position the clock uh, to the left or right, or we can also hide the clock. Let's go back. Now you can see this all new option apply color palette to notification icons. When I enable this, uh, the color palette will be applied to all the notifications that we have got on the notification panel. And if you want the uh, app icon to show up on the notification panel, you can just disable this feature. Now you will see all the app icons associated with that particular notification on the notification panel. And then comes this major feature. This is change quick settings button grid. Uh, you can increase or decrease the uh, button grid here. The default 4x3 button grid can be increased up to 6x3, which is just fantastic. We can have more toggles on one single page on the quick panel using this particular feature on quick start that is just amazing isn't it let me know what do you think have you ever tried increasing the grid size on your phone let me know in the comment section if you never did go ahead try this out you will get to access more quick toggles on the quick panel which will be really really useful share your thoughts drop a comment and when you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find it informational thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye